Upper endoscopy is a test that looks inside the upper gastrointestinal, or GI tract. The GI tract includes the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestine. The test is also known as an esophageal gastroduodenoscopy, or EGD. It's done using a tool called an endoscope, which is a long, thin, flexible tube that has a light and a tiny camera. The test helps find problems such as ulcers, infections, or growths. It can show the causes of swallowing problems or dyspepsia, nausea and vomiting, acid reflux, bleeding, and abdominal pain. Before the procedure, you may have a physical exam, blood tests, or other kinds of tests. You'll be asked not to eat or drink for at least 8 hours before the procedure. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines and supplements you take, any allergies you have, and if you're pregnant or might be pregnant. Your healthcare provider will explain what happens during the procedure. He or she will also talk with you about any risks or complications that may occur. You'll be asked to sign a consent form that gives your healthcare provider permission to do the procedure. Read the form carefully and ask questions if anything is not clear. An upper endoscopy takes about 20 to 30 minutes. When it's time for your test, you may be given medicine to help you relax or sleep. This is called sedation. This medicine is usually given through an intravenous line, put in a vein in your arm or hand. Your throat might be numbed with a spray or liquid and you'll be given a small plastic guard to protect your teeth. During the test, you lie on your left side, and the endoscope is placed in your mouth and moves down your throat. Air is used to expand the GI tract so your provider can see the lining more clearly. You may feel some pressure or discomfort from the air. The scope sends pictures of the GI tract to a video screen. Your provider looks at your esophagus, stomach, and duodenum for problems such as bleeding, inflammation, or growths. Using small tools inserted through channels in the endoscope, he or she can take small samples of tissue to send to a lab. This is called a biopsy. In some cases, your provider will remove small growths, the endoscope is then removed. After the test, you'll need to rest for about an hour to let the sedation wear off. This kind of medicine lasts for a while in the body, so you'll need a family member or friend to drive you home. Plan to take it easy for the rest of the day. If you had a biopsy, the results will be ready in about seven days. Call your healthcare provider if you have any of the following, nausea and vomiting, vomiting blood, stomach pain that doesn't go away, black tarry or bloody stools, trouble swallowing, or fever. To learn about more procedures and screening, please subscribe and support us. In the next video, we will show the colonoscopy procedure, so stay tuned, thank you.